Materials, and I'm not talking about sewing or making clothes. I'm talking about these things. What materials do we use in electrotechnology? Let's have a look. So in electrotechnology, we use a whole bunch of different materials. We use timber, plastics, all sorts of things. We have to learn how to cut them, shape them, and work with them. So I'm gonna go through some basics here and talk about how that might affect you in your trade. So I'll start off with the obvious, timber. If you're working on any domestic building, you're gonna come into contact with timber, whether it be timber frames, timber roofing, you're gonna to need to know how to drill, cut, and manage work with timber. You can't just take a drill bit and drill through any old piece of timber because if you're working in a, uh, a house, for example, you might find that you're drilling through a supporting beam and that's now gonna weaken the beam if you drill through it. So you have to be a little bit mindful of what you are working with, whether it's hard timber or soft timber, treated timber, etc. If you come across hard timber, you'll find it's called hard timber for exactly that reason. It is really hard. And trying to drill through it can sometimes be like trying to drill through concrete. And you can destroy your drill bits by trying to drill through hard timber. So you need to be mindful of that and know what to look for and know how to manage that when that's come across you. If you're dealing with treated pine, for example, uh, and you're trying to put on maybe some conduit or something that's exterior, if you use the wrong type of screws, they are going to rust and break and come off. So you need to make sure you're aware of that as well. So we do do a lot of work with timber, believe it or not, as electricians. We also need to deal with plastics. Uh, this is PVC conduit, and we put our cabling through here to help mechanically protect it. Mechanically means physical damage. There are a number of types of conduit that you can get. This is just standard gray. It gets used pretty much everywhere. It can't be put underground though. If you put this underground, it will degrade and it will fall apart. We don't want that. We have specific conduit for that. It's colored orange, but the orange conduit cannot be left out in the sun because the UV light will make it brittle um, and it's no good. So you'll find there are a range of different conduits that we, we use and they're all made out of plastics. We need to know how to bend plastic without snapping it. We need to know how to heat it up, mold it, shape it, depending on what we're trying to do. So we do come across a lot of plastics. We'll come across items that have more than one type of material in it, like this, for example, this is a light fitting. This has plastic. It also has brass connection fittings on the back there that we need to be mindful of. When we are tightening up any brass connections, Brass is a soft material. It's very, very easy for us to snap with our screwdrivers, maybe the screw fixings or something else in here. So we have to be mindful of that and not over tighten things when we're dealing with brass. We also have copper in our cabling. Now our cables come in all sorts of sizes. Size as this, which is only small. This is only 2.5 millimeters square up to cables about this round. There are some cables that are made out of aluminium, but the majority of it is gonna be copper because it's a good conductor. But copper, again, it's a soft material, so we have to be mindful of that. And it has a tendency to corrode as well. So we need to be mindful of the corrosion because a lot of times you can come to a, a, a job and you might be trying to fix something, maybe a light's not working, and it'll turn out that maybe the copper terminal is just corroded and just needs cleaning. Maybe it's broken. Um, Again, soft material, gotta be very careful that we don't break our copper when we're working with our cabling. We'll come across items such as this. This is a uh, terminal block or terminal strip. It's made out of brass and it also has some copper links on it as well. Again, as I mentioned with the light fitting, you need to be mindful when you're tightening these up. You don't tighten them up too much and snap things off. You also need to make sure they're always in good condition and they're not going to be exposed to the elements where they could corrode and create what we call hot joints, which is where the corrosion stops the current from flowing through our contacts and the current then tries to jump, which creates heat because it's arcing, 
and then spirals downwards into causing a fire, and we don't want that to happen. So we have to be mindful of these items. We have different tools that we'll be learning about that you can use to cut and shape these different metals. And that's really it. We also deal with metal, sheet metal, galvanized metal, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. But generally, most materials you can think of, we as electricians will come into contact with and will need to know how to manipulate and utilize to its best advantage. Hopefully you got something from that and I'll see you in the next video.